Hi, everybody. I am the Glitter Priestess, and I am making a video about um, my shadow work journal. I haven't made a video in a while, so I'm a little bit rusty. Anyway, let me. My lip, I just had on lipstick and I took it off because it looked really janky once I saw it on camera. Put in a little coconut oil on my lips just so they don't look dry. Okay, so. Um, my shadow work journal. So for my project for the winter season that I started on the winter solstice and I worked on throughout the winter season, this shadow work journal it says a gentle touch and it's got a Mary J. Blige CD insert booklet on the cover. It's got sad Mary because, you know, this was like my 15 year old self favorite album and beyond. I love Mary, like Mary is a goddess and I could go on and on about Mary. That's another video. <laughs> but um, but her sad songs and that this era for me just represents like that in my inner sad 15 year old. For if you don't know, a shadow work journal is a journal that we use to go into those places of ourselves, our shadow self, the parts of ourselves that we don't like to look at, the parts of ourselves that we don't like to show to anyone else and um, that are embarrassing or painful or traumatic, traumatic experiences, anything we've buried. So this was my project for the winter. I made the journal itself using a cardboard insert from curtains. And then the signatures are made from magazine paper. So I'm just gonna do as quickly as possible a flip through so you get a sense of what is inside of this journal. It really is a very personal journal. So um, I don't know how much the camera is gonna pick up. There might be people's names in that person. You know, let's go, we, we'll, we'll be all right. Um, just feeling very self-conscious about how I look right now, but that's okay. Let's <laughs> Let's just, Move forward, okay. So that's the cover, front cover, back cover. This, I used um, blackboard paint to make it black and a gentle touch because I wanted to be gentle with those parts of myself. So this is the beginning. And I just worked on it every day. I would just add a word or some color or some images and um, about how I was feeling or what I was going through and My phone is making sounds because I did not turn off my phone. Sorry. Um, so this is, I'll just flip through. I'm not going to get into too much explaining. I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory, but I really like to make collage journals where I use magazine paper and then just collage on top of that. It looks like everything's flipped because the webcam just may be good. <laughs> it just may be good. So. And all of this is about me and the things that I was feeling or going through um, and those parts of myself. So it's not, um, it's not about any of the people whose images are there necessarily. I haven't looked through this in a couple of months. I, I started it on the winter solstice and then I ended it the day before the spring equinox. That was it. I love that romantic spinster. I want to make t-shirts that say that because I think that's really funny and cute. Um, I don't know. This is funny. I mean, I, I I have shared journals before, but never indiscriminately just flipping through every page. I usually like pick things I'm comfortable with. But anyway, I don't I don't really have time for that or 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 care. <laughs> it's just like whatever. Um, oh, this is another one of my favorites. Evil, evil children, evil children. It's based on a true story. <laughs> Uh, and I, I love just like writing on the parts that can be written on on the magazine paper it's really um and then a lot of this is just 
um, markers from the 99 cent store. Sorry. 99 cent store and hardware store, I get a lot of art supplies. Some kids are still untouched. And it will remain untouched because that's over. And I'm loving this pink nail polish, pale pink <laughs> nail polish. I know, not relevant, but it's what I'm noticing. I'm, I'm trying to look. I'm like, what am I? What does it say? What does it say? Kanye. I still love Kanye. Always love Kanye. So <laughs> I won't be bullied out of not loving Kanye anymore. I don't agree with any of those absolutely insane and horrible things he's been saying, but that doesn't make the music that I liked of his, you know, sound worse to me. But again, that's another conversation, another video. <laughs> it's, you know, what's, what, what would happen if we, some people love instead of hate when we disagree with them? What would happen? What would happen? We didn't disown people because we, because of self-hatred. Like, oh, you hate yourself? I hate you more. No, I don't think don't think that works. I think let's 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 learn from our mistakes in the past. Look what we did to MJ. That's another story. Again, another conversation. <laughs> like, I've had to throw away some collages that were that I made that were too creepy that I couldn't even look at them. It's funny. That was a party I went to do in Detroit last year. It was fun during the Allied Media Conference. Good times. Summer. <laughs> That's a bitter spinster. Another good t-shirt. Mary again. A lot of times also, like if I would get mad at people, and then I could come into this journal and write down all of the things that I could not say out loud or would not say out loud, but I could write them in here in detail. This, I met this little girl at this kind of like black common con kind of thing. It wasn't Comic Con, but it was something at the Bronx Museum. I was on a panel. Sharice Francis had set it up. Anyway, let me see what the girl's name is. It's not beyond this thing. Yes, princesslovepawn.com. Shauna draws.com. S H A U N A D R A W S. Princess Love Pawn. Princess Love P O N dot com. And she makes like really great things. And this is a bookmark that I bought from her that I put it in here because the girl crying and well, that was a good image for this. This is a fold out. <laughs> it's funny to look back at this um but yeah, i anyway side note i would highly recommend doing this kind of thing it's great to have a place to just go and in addition to therapy which is also a good place to go and just complain and dump all the negative things but then there are some things that you know just the creative outlet writing things down creating images drawing collaging painting coloring brings out something else on another level. At least it does for me.
Ah, see, this is like when I was mad at somebody and I wrote, you fucking self-hating, identifying with the colonizer ass bitch. See, that's something I wouldn't say to someone <laughs> or I couldn't say to this person because um, it was in a professional context. I probably wouldn't say that to anyone in that way, but it was like so evident and palpable, like, girl. But anyway, I found this CD insert on, it's a two chains, like mixtape bootleg CD insert, but it's just so pretty. I love the colors and I love how it looks. So put that in there and it looks so nice with this flower. Don't know anything about 2 chains music really, but I did like that. A citrinione egg. I think that was the first day I used my citrinione egg. Again, another conversation with the only egg. <laughs> And then here it says, is there a professional way to say fuck off, I can't stand you? That was about the same person. The identifying with the colonizer ass bitch. <laughs> oh my God. It's hilarious. And people think I say everything that's on my mind, but I really don't. See, see how much I'm holding back? <laughs> I don't know. I love videos where people flip through journals. So hopefully this is also interesting. Some of the Spice Girls. I love the Spice Girls. Really it's Mel B, but as a result of like loving Mel B, I love the Spice Girls. It's, it's weird. But anyway, I've always been a Spice Girls fan. I wrote talk to the hand because the face ain't listening. Talk is spelled T-A-W-K. Okay. <laughs> Some 90s history pop culture moment. <sighs> this was a page that was Xerox for my actual journal. And then I made it's like a little pocket that I could put things in. I'm gonna read that one, but <laughs> it's there for you if you can. And some anger at, at my therapist. I love the colors here. Did I cover? So it's really. Just about getting out those negative emotions and cramps. Ugh. The devil. If you have, you definitely get a uh, hot water bottle if you get cramps. It does help. A raw food cleanse day two. Part of me just wants to eat French fries. I can't wait till this is over. I have another cleanse coming up soon. Do it at the end of every season. This one says, insecurities have fucked up my life and held me back so much. No mas, fuck. <laughs> that was day four of seven of the raw food cleanse. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm this is like the longest video ever of me just like looking at this thing. So I make a lot of these kind of journals and I just, I never know how, like how to share them. I've been making collage journals for years, but I don't know if you like, Scan every page and submit it places to get them exhibited.
<laughs> I said, other insecure people annoy me, so I get it if people don't like me. Uh, also, sometimes people will blame my insecurities for their wretched behavior. Fuck them, losers. You know who you are. <laughs> And this is the end. People get on my nerves so much. Oh, that's great. I love T I Heart TV and you. And I do love you for watching and sticking through this whole thing. So that's my shadow work journal. Um, really, really fun stuff. If you guys want to see more videos like this of my journals um, and my artwork, yeah, I think I'll do more videos about art and journaling and that kind of thing and how to's i'm also learning embroidery from my friend blanca amezgua is posting these lovely embroidery workshops and anyway a lot going on but thank you for watching please give me a thumbs up please let me know in the comments if you do shadow work if you have a shadow work journal and how you use it and any tips and I don't know. Let's talk about shadow work. And also let me know about things you want me to make videos about in the future. Um, otherwise, I'll just keep making videos about the stuff that I'm already doing and already making, which I really like documenting in that way. And a few people seem to be really into. So uh, thank you again for watching. I love you guys. I'm happy to be back making videos. And... <laughs> I will see you next week. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you to the new subscribers who have just subscribed recently. All right. I love you guys. Bye. See you next time. Thank you for watching.